John Klein, internet mogul from Chicago, Illinois, turned his parents' thousand dollar loan into a multi-billion dollar company. Justin Eep here, pioneer of the adult entertainment industry from Coronado, California, worth $2.8 billion. Dylan Klein, a financial investor from Columbus, Ohio, worth $5 billion. Doug Marshall, real estate investor from Las Vegas, Nevada, worth $3 billion. These are the Sharks. how colleges operate on a day-to-day -day basis. And I'm coming to you guys for $250,000 to get my product going. What does that $250,000 entail? Like, what, uh, break down a little more than that. Well, we got $50,000 for startup, and that's just like, like office buildings, stuff like that, employees. Um, $75,000 for design, to have somebody come in who's a little more seasoned in the field than myself. And then we have $125,000 technical support. That's just with like operations of the app to make sure it make sure it runs well. My college is a mobile app that can get everything that a college student would need into one stop. I can get sports for the student athletes, school for the whole student body, and news and academics all in one mobile app. Okay, the features my app offers is my sports, which is all of your campus sports, accesses to scores, news, updates like that. Uh, you can also get live stream in case you're not at the game, which is very popular with students who have busy schedules like finals week, stuff like that. Um, my school is like, it's like a portable assignment book. It's linked into all your syllabus. It's like the online platform for all your professors. You can take an online course through it. And anything you can do through an online app is possible through my college. My network, in case you want to connect with your friends, Planner is like a personal assignment book. All you guys have assignments in college, and you get a reminder set that's linked in with your personal syllabus in my school. And it gives you a reminder. You can customize it up to the day. My guy has all your local authorities and campus security numbers in case you may need them. Like I touched on before, my sports, you can access all your uh, your college sports at your local school, and you can access other college sports too, in case you're an Ohio State fan going to Tiffin University. If you want to get more specific, you can also access pro sports, anything that you can find on your ESPN.com. Um, get to my school. My school includes your cast, uh, class schedules, room locations, and your up-to-date assignment schedules. And it also includes a feature that I came up with called the source. It's like a, a link to uh, um, Ohio Link, um, Google, Bing, and any other search engine that you may use when you're writing a paper. And it also has a homework hotline that connects with uh, tutors that are available during certain hours that will be explained. The homework hotline feature is a feature where if you have any trouble with your homework, papers, or anything, you can get in touch with a tutor or any teacher's assistant to seek your help. And the homework hotline and the source 
of both reputable sources amongst teachers. And my network is a complete social networking community that brings LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus all into one stop. And my planner feature, that informs students about upcoming assignments and when they are due. And it also informs students of upcoming events around campus with different organizations. My planner feature also includes an interactive campus map, so in case you're on a large campus like Ohio State, Florida, or Texas, you will not get lost. Moving on to the MyGuard feature, the MyGuard feature includes campus security, local police and fire department, the state highway patrol in case you're out traveling, and it also includes AAA if you're a paying AAA member. Do you have an example of the application? As a matter of fact, I do. I brought three phones with me, a Blackberry, a Droid, and an iPhone. If you guys don't mind, I can go ahead and give one of those phones to each of you. Okay. Since I see you brought your laptop with you, you can go ahead and pull up my app on your laptop. Pull up. You guys can go ahead and click on the My College icon on your phones and your computer. You can go ahead and get to the home page. You guys there? Yeah. yeah, this yeah. Is really, it's very easy to find. Very, very easy. You guys have all reached the home page of the app. You guys can go ahead and explore all the other portions that you see. So, why is a mobile app better than a website? Since society is moving towards an on-the-go type of lifestyle, and students are becoming more and more busy as we go along throughout the school year, maybe seeking a job, going to play in a sporting event, or going to tour with a music group, they can have all of that, what they would have on a laptop, on their smartphone, their tablet, or even their laptop if they have it. But it gives you more options. And right. since smartphones are becoming more and more advanced, along with the tablets, you can take everything with you. Okay. Portable. What differentiates you from similar apps? Well, my app is designed strictly for college students, not for not for business people, not for any other person in the workforce. It's strictly for college. And I feel like I've cracked into a nice little niche. You came to us with a price of $250,000 for startup fees and such. Um, do I get a stake in the company and should I trust you with that money? Well, you can trust me with it and we can also negotiate a stake later. But I need an initial offer. All right, go ahead. I feel that this invention is something that could really take off in the college industry, if you will. And I feel that a fair offer would be $180,000 cash up front, but I would also ask for, in return, around 30 to 35% of ownership within the company. Okay. I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you, Mr. Khan. Um, I don't think this niche, as John Klein supposes, that is big, big enough to make money, and I just don't see my money being worth investing in an app when millions of apps fail every day. Okay. So I'm out. Uh, Mr. Epier, I tend to disagree with you. Mr. Khan, I think your product is extremely useful to the uh, college industry, and uh, I would like to offer you $200,000 for 25% stake in your company. Okay. Well, um, honestly, as far as technology being advanced nowadays and all the opportunities that students are given, I can't see can't see why they would take advantage of this application, so I'm going to have to find Fair enough. So I had a 200,000 with, what was it, 25? 25% of the stake of the company. Exactly. So Dylan had offered you $200,000 and 25% of the company. And I realize that that's more. That's a better offer for you. Right. But with the background that I have in this industry right now, I feel that I could benefit your future plans a lot better. So you could help get my product out better to different colleges and make it look better? Faster and more efficiently, yes. Well, my, to counter John's offer, I also have worked in the mobile app business. My financial investment firm has already used the mobile app for uh, some of our customers. 
and I've worked hand in hand, hand in hand with iTunes previously, so I already know kind of how the mobile app business works and what you need to be successful. Okay, so you can help me more with marketing efforts. Correct. Okay. Now, what are you looking more? Are you trying to get it better marketed, or are you trying to have it start up faster? Well, I think if we have a more successful product, marketing will take care of itself. Okay. Because of social networking, colleges are all. I'm going to be generous with my second offer for you. Okay. I will increase the percentage to 30%, but on top of that, I'm going to increase the money that I give you as well. So that's a benefit for you. I will give you $225,000. Listen, Mr. Khan, I've worked with John, and I will vouch for him. He knows what he's doing, because I'm in the adult entertainment business. He created an app for me, and I've nearly doubled my money in five years. And I think he can do the same thing. Mr. Kahn, now why, now why would you want to associate yourself with somebody that works in the adult entertainment business when you are focusing on a college student and my financial investment firm is a more professional business than what Mr. Epier has worked, with, has done with John in the past five years? I'm going to counter offer John's offer and offer you $245,000 for 35% of your company. When I have John down there, he can double my money, like he did for Mr. E. Pierre. Why should I go to you when you're just giving me more money? John, I have the background in the uh, financial investment business. There are plenty of investors out there that if uh, we sit down and talk with them that may want to put money towards this application. So there may be an almost unlimited amount of wealth that could go to you uh, researching better, marketing better. I can even contact a marketing firm. One of my best friends from Chicago is uh, in the marketing okay. business. So I can uh, help them uh, translate your app into being marketed to colleges throughout the nation, not only in this country, but possibly abroad as well. Listen, listen. My app wasn't even sold on iTunes. He doubled my money. Your app's gonna be on iTunes. This guy's gonna be able to make you a lot of money, maybe triple or quadruple. I mean, he's been named the next Mark Zuckerberg. Okay. That's all I'm saying. That's that's a pretty hefty name to be given somebody. And he's given me a lot to think about. I'm gonna have to go out in the hallway and think this over and talk with my counsel. Hey, whatever. So, you're welcome. Thanks, bud. <laughs> So wh what's the reasoning behind taking more percentage than what I have? I mean, he's, he's losing on that. No, because I think that ultimately I can offer him more money than what you can. So I want this, I want the investment in this business. I think this app is going to be extremely successful and I want my name tied to it. Or you just think you need to offer him more money because you don't have the backing like this. Right. Well, if he has a better, if he has a better investment campaign pretty much backing him, then why wouldn't his work better? Because I have more success. If you look at Mr. Epierce, that's one. That's right one successful business. You have I mean, you have it through. But I had to get myself up in society with this. Correct. So I, did I. So did I. My mobile app is out there, there for my mobile app is out there for everybody. And your mobile app, your app is just focused on one right. entertainment industry. And but, my my app can be focused throughout the nation. But the seclusion aspect goes to his idea of working at universities and colleges. Nobody else needs that with the students at the schools. So. That's why my aspect of being secluded and having the progress that he's had. I think my connections in the business world and in major cities can do more for Mr. Kind than what your opportunities can. I don't disagree with you in any sense, but here's a perfect example of my situation. My parents loaned me $1,000 right when I got out of school. And what I did with that was I wanted to invest in my own company, entrepreneurship, obviously. So. Over 10 years, I made that into a multi-billion dollar company. In just 10 years. See who wins. Bring them back in. Mr. Kai? Yes? I have come up with a final offer for you. Okay. And Dylan would like to give his offer as well. But my first is $275,000 upfront in cash and 35% of the company. Okay. Mr. Conn, I'd like to counter that offer by giving you $100,000 more than what you asked for, for a total of $350,000 and 45% staking your account. 
And gentlemen, I like both of your offers, but I've ultimately decided to take more money instead of putting my faith in with less money. More money up front is a better option. All right, I'm out of here. This is a joke. Thanks for coming. This is a joke. Yeah, I look forward to uh, working with you. This is a joke. Good luck. Good luck being unsuccessful. I guess you don't like it. Good luck with your future plan. Okay, I appreciate it. Thanks.